Welcome to tutorial number two of Man Win Win implementation. This video will show you some operations that can be performed on the registered items. By right clicking on top of the organization, let's select load data so we can see all the registered equipment. To show some of the features for items, we'll select the emergency generator. In order to keep only this item on the list, by right clicking on top of it, we'll select the option refresh list. This first operation we'll see is how to register a running record for this item. Before registering any running record in Man Win Win, we must check on the item's operational data to see if the option Compute Based on Records is activated. And if it's not, we must turn it on and click OK. Now let's register a running record for this item. By right clicking on top of it and selecting the option Records, before opening the running records. In the window that the software has opened, we'll create a new one and insert the value that can be read on the actual equipment. Click OK and it's created. On the right hand side of this window, we can see information regarding the last record, its date, value, and also the average daily running record, computed by the software based on a linear regression that will start working from the moment that we insert four records for the item. We can also see a projections area that will allow us to ask the software how many kilometers the vehicle will travel on a certain date or when it will achieve a certain record. We can now close the running records window and see how we can attach more documents to this item. Again, with the right click over it, we'll select the documents option and in the window that will appear, we'll create a new entry. We start with the code and the description, and if the software has an expiration date, we can fill it in. We also have an additional text box for any note we might insert. And finally, we must attach the document from our computer or any reachable storage unit. Once we click OK, the document is saved and it can be accessed by clicking on the link. Let's close this window and now see how we can repeat an item in Man Win Win. By right clicking the item that we want to repeat, we'll select the repeat option and the software will open a new item record window with all the information from the original item. All we have to do now is change the parameters that are different, such as the description, date or serial number and click OK to save it. Once we do this, the software will ask us if we also want to repeat the documents and applied stock items, maintenance plans, reading points, required time and operating time of the original item. Once we click OK, we'll be able to see the new item that has been created, which is almost a copy of the first one. Lastly, let's see some printable reports available for the registered items. Let's load all our data and select a few of them, for example, from one cost center. With the right click on the print option, we can choose to access a report for either the first item on that list, for the previously selected items, or for all the lists that we loaded. Next, we can choose the report type that we want to see and ask the system to preview. This one, for example, will present a list with all the information regarding each one of the selected items. We can also ask for a list of all of our items grouped, for example, by cost center. We can now exit this window. We hope that this tutorial was useful and we invite you to watch the next video showing how to register stock items in Man Win Win and link them to the items where they are used.